हेलो माय फैमिली मेंबर्स टुडे इज द फोर्थ क्लास ऑफ कॉग्निटिव असेसमेंट प्रिपरेशन फॉर एनी कंपनी लाइक एक्सेंचर टीसीएस एंड क्यूटी कॉग्निजेंट विप्रो एट्सेट्रा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व फाइव बेसिक बट रिपीटेडली आस्क्ड सीडो कोड क्वेश्चंस एंड वी विल डिस्कस अ लिटिल अबाउट थ्योरी एज वेल मेनली इन ऑफ कैंपस सीडो कोड्स क्वेश्चंस आर हार्डर देन ऑन कैंपस एज यूजुअल so if you solve them as well then you will be more fluent in coding or pseudo coding i hope you have been watching the full playlist of previous year question that was uh, that was being published uh, in my channel if you are not watching this please visit that playlist link is given in the description box okay and if you are preparing for any off campus or on campus drive then please subscribe my channel so that you can be updated okay okay let's move to the questions first this is the first question that just look at the question and try to solve by your own at first i will then Uh, solve the problem and explain to you okay i am solving the problem right let's look at here the input n is equal to 1 2 3 4 and we are setting the value of n inside a variable q right so q will be is equal to 1 2 3 4 this is actually referential variable that is reference the address of the variable n right so that's why the q is equal to 1 2 3 4 and rn is equal to 0 so we are at first in going inside the while loop at first check the condition if q greater than 0 q is equal to we know that 1 2 3 4 so q is greater than 0 so uh, in the next line r is equal to q mod 10 q mod 10 means q 1 2 3 4 mod 10 that means after dividing by 10 uh, what we will get remainder we will get remainder as 4 right so uh, in the next line rn is equal to rn plus uh, uh, operation of zor on r and 3 so rn rn means 0 plus zor operation of r and 3 so what is the value of r r is 100 so zor operation on r and 3 so r means 4 and the binary value of 4 is equal to 100 and binary value of 3 is equal to 0 11 right if you don't know how to solve zor operation or and operation or nor operation then kindly watch the video that was published in my channel and link is given in the description box uh, you will be able to understand full concept right just i am explaining a little about this in the zor operation one means true and zero means false you know true and false when true and false this will be true right and when true and true this will be false and when false and false this will also be false in in, in the case of zor operation so uh, at first 1 0 that means false and true is true uh, and in in the next line i mean in the next uh, here the false and true will be true and here also the false and true will be true so the value will be the value will be uh, this is the value of 4 5 6 7 so this is the value of 7 Uh, guys i have already uh, give uh, i have already uh, explained that how to know what is the binary value of any number what is the uh, decimal uh, value of any binary number it i am not explaining here but this is explained in the video that is that the link is given in the description box so kindly watch that right so uh, the value is now 7 so after zor operation the value is 7 so rn is equal to 7 in the first line and q is equal to q by 10 so q by 10 means q is equal to 1 2 3 4 so q by 10 means 
it will be one two three right it will be one two three just let me erase that okay now we will check again if the q is greater than zero yes it is greater than zero that means one two three is greater than zero so uh, we will go to r r is equal to q mod 10 q mod 10 means 1 2 3 mod 10 1 2 3 mod 10 so this will be 12 so uh, sorry this will be 3 actually the remainder after dividing 10 it will be 3 right so this will be 3 and uh, again we will uh, we will perform a zor operation on r and 3 right so rn means uh, now 7 right rn means 7 plus zor operation on rn3 so r means now r means 3 so binary value of 3 is 0 1 1 and uh, the binary value of 3 is 0 1 1 as we are performing zor operation on rn3 here r is equal to 3 already and uh, here separately 3 was mentioned so we will perform zor operation on them so I have already mentioned that if true and true in the case of Zor operation, this will be actually false or it will if, if it is uh, false and false, this will also false. Here, if any of the statement is true, full statement will be true, right? I mean, if false and true, this will be true, right? So here, all will be zero. True and true is zero. Uh, I mean, false, false and false also false, right? So it will be zero. So R n is equal to R n plus Zor operation is zero. So the value of R n here is seven. So in the next line, Q is equal to Q by ten. That means one twenty three by ten is equal to twelve, right? Just let me erase that. Now we will check again if Q greater than 0. Q means 12. So 12 is greater than 0. Right. It is satisfying the condition. So go, uh, go inside the loop. So R is equal to we will calculate again. If R is equal to what? R is equal to Q mod 10. So Q is 12. So 12 mod 10. That means we will have remainder 2. And uh, in the next line Rn plus Zor operation again we will conduct. So, Rn means now 7 plus R Zor 3, right? R, R means 3, that is 0. Sorry, R is 2 now, right? R is 2, that means 0, 1, 0 is the binary value of 2 and um, 3. So, 3 is represented like this so the value will be look like um, true false false so this value will be now 1 right so 7 plus 1 means 7 here 7 sorry guys here 7 and here 1 that means it will be 8 right 7 plus 1 is equal to 8 so rn is equal to now 8 right and q is equal to q by 10 again so q by if we divide this then q is equal to 1 now right now we will again go towards the loop right we will check if q greater than 0 yes 1 greater than 0 so we will go inside the loop so r is equal to q mod 10 so we will divide 10 uh, then what we will get 10 0 are 0 that means 1 will be remainder so the 1 will be value of r now rn is equal to rn plus r zor 3 so here rn was rn was 8 right plus zor operation of rn3 
so r means now 1 so 0 0 1 and 3 means 0 1 1 so true and true is false false and true is true and false and false is false so this is the value of 2 so 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 so this is the value of 10 right and q is equal to q by 10 so q by 10 means uh, uh, the value will be 1 by 10 so this will be 0 right so the uh, we will check again if q greater than 0 no q is equal to 0 so we will end the loop now we will print the rn value the rn value is 10 so we will print the value of rn is equal to as 10 right this will be the value of rn okay this was actually a time taking because i wanted you to know more about pseudocode and its operation so i will not take more time in the next question okay so next uh, over over to the next question here is your next question kindly try to solve by your own at first then i will try to solve right if you have a solution kindly comment it out right okay i am giving the solution here uh, input is 5 right and the value of in uh, the i is equal to 2 and we have to at first go inside the while loop so i we will check if i less than equal to num by 2 num by 2 means num is equal to 5 right num is equal to 5 by 2 that means 2 right 2 to the 4 and it returns the integer value it will not return a float value so it will give 2 not 2.5 right so this will be 2 we will check if i less than equal to 2 yes i is equal to 2 so we will go inside the for loop right now we will check if num mod i is equal to 0 num means 5 right so we will check if 5 mod 2 is equal to 0 i is equal to 2 so we will uh, see that 2 to the 4 2 3 the 6 so it will not be divided so remainder will be not be 0 so it will not satisfy it will go towards this part right so i will be increased by 1 so i value will be 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 now we will again check if i is equal to is equal to num by 2 plus 1 num by 2 means uh, num by 2 means 2 right and plus 1 that means 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so if i is equal to is equal to 3 yes uh, i is equal to is equal to 3 so we will print successful so i hope you have uh, got the logic imposed here right and just one thing to mention you that here it is if condition if statement and here or as well a uh, if statement so if two if statement that inside a while loop that means we will obviously have to check both if statement if this was only if statement and it was else statement then we will we would have only checked if statement is true then we will execute the inside part otherwise we will check uh, the else part here we have to check both condition right so the while loop actually run for one time that's why we will print successful one time right so this is the output okay now let's go to the next problem uh, it is the next problem kindly try to pause the video and solve your own okay okay i am solving the problem right so here f is equal to 6 g is equal to 9 and sum is equal to 0 we will check if g greater than f g means 9 9 greater than f yes 9 greater than 6 so it satisfies the condition so it will enter into a for loop so n is equal to at first 6 right 
so sum is equal to sum plus n right so sum was 0 and sum plus n means it will 6 plus 0 that will be 6 so when n is equal to 6 the sum is equal to 6 when n is equal to 7 that means n was increased here so n is 7 if 7 less than g that means 9 7 less than 9 yes so we will go again into the for loop so uh, sum is equal to sum plus n when n is equal to 7 the sum will be added to the 7 so 7 plus 6 is equal to 13 right so again we will check 7 was increased by 1 so it will be 8 we will check if 8 less than g that means uh, 8 less than 9 yes it is satisfying so when n is equal to 8 when n is equal to 8 the value of sum will be sum plus n that means 13 plus 8 that is 21 right and now the value of n is equal to 9 so we will check if 9 less than 9 no it is not satisfying so it will end the loop so when it is ending the loop it is going to the print sum so we will print the sum that is 21 so this will be the output right ok now let's go towards the next problem this is a very easy question i i don't think i have to answer this but just a little bit explanation that uh, just uh, operate like a mod a most a minus 3 that means uh, 15 minus 3 12 uh, that means a was 15 so 15 mod 12 means uh, 3 right so this way you can solve the problem i am i'm not solving the problem right i hope you will be solve you'll solve the problem and give the answer in the comment box right okay i'm going towards the next problem and this is also a quiz for you just solve this question i have to mention you that uh, you have to know the precedence and uh, the precedence rule actually uh, it is operating from the right to left right to left means you have to at first operate the right portion in the initial part the whatever it is the value it will be stored in the place of y and whatever the value of y will be it will be stored in the value uh, value of x right so z is equal to 8 so y will be 8 right so x is equal to 8 so we will print the x so print will be 8 right i hope i could teach you a little bit about pseudo code if you think this video makes value to your career kindly support me sharing the playlist with your friends let them join as well and get the job all together right you know i hope you have already subscribed my channel let's practice more and more okay thank you